So what would be the objective of our session is to understand the role of accelerators and incubators that are supporting a lot of startup nowadays uh, to explore the opportunities that they provide and learn how to apply uh, to these programs. And also I will share my experiences of working with them. And at last, I will uh, do a QA and a session where you guys are feel free to ask anything that you have in mind. One thing that I'm going to not do is bore you with typical definitions because uh, this information is something that is not very private. You guys can easily search on the internet. So there is no point of me like describing each definition like point by point because it would just waste your time. As I said previously, I want this uh, session to be as engaged, uh, like as engaging as possible, so that you guys can learn something and I can also learn something from you guys. So, first of all, like, uh, can someone tell me that what is an accelerator or an incubator? Like, before coming on to this slide, can someone uh, just raise their hand and tell me? Anyone? Let's see. Uh, no response. Okay. Uh, let me uh, give you a basic overview. Right. So basically, an accelerator is a sort of like a program. Uh, that funds startup so that they can go from zero to one, right? Their span is very short, like uh, from usually from three to six months. And uh, they give you the initial amount of money that you need in order to grow your startup. And they help a lot in the early stages, right? Whereas in incubators, it takes your startup from that one to hundred. They uh, help you in building a startup that will be sustainable for the long term. It could be an ideal uh, solution to a huge problem that is faced by a lot of people. So it uh, happens uh, like on a span of one to two years. And uh, like also it helps in uh, like developing a lot more stuff, which I will discuss at the very end. Right. In terms of mentorship, like accelerators do provide you mentors, but it is not as intensive. Like they give you like basic, very few pointers and stuff. Whereas in, in incubators, like a lot of the mentors work with you uh, on a daily basis, work with you full time. They give you the complete structure that how things should go and like how things should proceed. In funding, like accelerators offer you with an initial boost of money, as I have said. And incubators don't really offer funding, but also in some cases, if they find your startup to be uh, a sustainable business for the future, if they see that your startup has a sort of value, then yeah, they do provide with few fundings. Uh, the structure of the accelerator is that uh, on a fixed timeline, let's say in three months, uh, they take around, like, let's say 10 to 12 startup. They work with all the startup at the same time. And after the deadline, like you are no longer a part of the accelerator. So you are on your own trying to build uh, everything. And in terms of incubators, like once you become a part of an incubator, like they sort of like become a part of your team. You start to get a lot of support from them, build a lot of stuff along with them. So yeah, it's a very engaging uh, environment in an incubator. Now, what are the basic differences in both of them? As like I have mentioned in my previous slide that the duration like accelerators last very short, incubators last very long. And then the focus is on rapid growth for accelerators and for incubators, it's specifically on the business model. And um, like cohort versus rolling basis, like how accelerators and incubators work. Like so far uh, in this, do you have any questions that you want to ask me? Or is an, uh, the difference between an accelerator and incubator clear? Like, do you guys have any questions that you want to ask? Uh, no. Okay. No. Okay. Fine. 
so then moving on ahead with the session so like here are few of the resources uh, that provide the accelerators and incubators in india like there is a ESL iit bombay like all sorts of iit uh, provide a sort of incubator uh, to all the like students who are building a startup and also like faculties as well they provide a lot of support and i have uh, personally worked with iit kanpur so i will share that experience as well like how i did it and what are the things that i built uh, so basically see i will not go into details about this sort of list because as i said this is very easy to find and at the last i will provide you with the list of my own which you can go through and learn about all sorts of different uh, these stuffs uh, some of the successful uh, startup that were founded in some of the uh, incubators i mentioned previously were swiggy ola caps housing.com groupers etc the name is huge the potential is huge so it, if you are a early stage entrepreneur if you are an early stage thinker thinking of building something then incubator or an accelerator is the right place for you then here are some of the programs offered by the uh, like for faculties especially like the tight ugc etc 